Records of regularly conducted activity. Records of regularly conducted activity. Recorded recollection. Recorded recollection statements for purposes of medical diagnosis or treatment. Statements for purposes of medical diagnosis or treatment. Then existing mental, emotional, or physical condition. Then Existing mental, emotional, or physical condition, excited utterance, and spontaneous, spontaneous present, spontaneous present, spontaneous present sense impression, a spontaneous statement describing or explaining an event or condition while made while the declarant was perceiving the event or condition. Did JFK's head just get blown away? Did JFK just get blown away? Did that head, did he just go back and, and to the left? JFK's head just went back into the left. For example, if somebody would have shouted that at the 23, judgment as to personal, family, or general history or, or boundaries, judgment of previous conviction. These are all... What, what do you call it? Uh, hearsay exceptions. Rule 803, CRE 803, hearsay exceptions, availability, availability of declarant immaterial. The following are not excluded by the hearsay rule, even though the declarant is available as a witness. Records of vital statistics, statements and documents affecting an interest in property, and absence of a public record statements. In ancient documents, records of religious organizations, market reports, commercial publications, learned treatises, ma marriage, baptismal, similar certificates, absence of entry in records kept in accordance with the provisions of paragraph 6, which was records of regularly conducted activity, such as business, public records and reports, public records and reports, Records of vital statistics, absence of a public record, statements in ancient documents, market reports, commercial public learned treatises, reputation concerning personal family history, reputation concerning boundaries, general history, reputation to character, judgment of previous conviction, judgment as to personal family general history or boundaries. Or boundaries essential to the judgment if the same would be provable by evidence of reputation. Let's read these last two. Judgment of previous conviction, evidence of a final judgment entered after a trial or upon a plea of guilty or nolo contendere, a judge and a person guilty of a crime punishable by death or imprisonment in excess of one year. To prove any fact essential to sustain the judgment, but not including when offered by the government in a criminal prosecution for purposes other than impeachment, judgments against persons other than the accused, the pendency of an appeal may be shown, but does not affect admissibility. Judgments as proof of matters of personal, family, or general history or boundaries essential to the judgment if the same would be provable by evidence of reputation 24 transferred to rule 807 and rule 807 as we all know attacking and supporting credibility of declarant when a hearsay statement or a statement defined in rule 801 d2 c d or e has been admitted in evidence the credibility of the declarant may be attacked and if attacked may be supported by any evidence which would be admissible for those or purposes if declarant had testified as a witness. Evidence of a statement or conduct by the declarant at, at any time inconsistent with his hearsay statement is not subject to any requirement that he may have been afforded an opportunity to deny or explain if the party against whom a hearsay statement has been admitted calls the declarant as a witness, the party is entitled to examine him on the statement as if under cross-examination. As if under cross-examination. So, hearsay exceptions. Availability of declarant immaterial. What does that mean? That means these things are not hearsay. Okay? You're not allowed to say hearsay. Hearsay is a statement other than the one that you made. You heard somebody else say something. He said, she said, he said, she said, they said, him said, 
I'm not, uh, okay. So offered in evidence to prove the truth of the matter asserted. So made a statement made by other than the person testifying. So did you say that? Okay, then why are you testifying that he said that? A lot of times a person could say something. A person could say something and then that indicates that the thing is true. When you look at actually the police, the entire court system, a lot of times the judges and the DA, they have no idea what the cops saw. They don't they have no idea what the cops saw, what the cop did, if the cops saw any evidence, asked any questions, if the cops on some bullshit. A lot of times the the courts, the judges, the DAs, they're college educated, so they're not tough guys. They need the tough guys, so they rely on the tough guys. And 90% of the time, the tough guys do their damn job. But is it possible that the tough guy could attack somebody and then make up a story later on? Of course that's possible. Not just possible, it's probable. In Alabama, it happened for 10 years straight. It happened to Rambo. So when are you allowed to testify hearsay? There's some, you can't say just hearsay, right? Basically, it's hearsay. Some hearsay is allowed. So hearsay is, it's not just he said, she said, but it's he said, she said that's inadmissible in a court of law in Colorado, at least. So hearsay is not admissible except as provided by these rules or by the civil. So you can't admit it except for these so what does that mean? That means there's 25 exceptions. There's 24, 23 exceptions to hearsay. And so when can you say, when can you testify when the original person isn't around, the declarant is immaterial? Who said the thing that, that you heard that the person had said of the thing? So just, I don't know, let's just say marriage, baptismal, other certificates, statements of fact containing in a certificate that the maker performed a marriage or other ceremony or administered a sacrament made by a clergyman, public official, or other person authorized by the rules or practices of a religious organization or by law to perform the act certified and purporting to have been issued at the time of the act or within a reasonable time thereafter. So that sounds like marriage, baptismal, other similar certificates. So that sounds like the Catholic Church. So the Catholic Church, they go ahead and they are... You know, doing their own documents. They're doing their baptisms. They're writing down all their baptisms. And they're writing down all their marriages. And they're saying that the person who recorded those things. Or maybe the priest or the preacher. Or who the fuck else ever. The order. The vicar. The Savoyard vicar. Whoever's doing the ordering of the people. They could come in and testify. No, you don't have to come in and testify. That certificate, it's a marriage certificate, a baptismal certificate. Statements of fact contained in a certificate that the maker performed a marriage or a baptismal or something else. That's okay. You don't need hearsay. You don't need the original person. The availability of the declarant is immaterial. So you have a marriage certificate. You don't need the person who wrote the marriage certificate. Hey, that's all you need is a certificate. I think you should have like five other certificates if it's from like a, a religious organization. This is the marriage certificate and it's good and valid. And here's five other certificates because we don't just issue out random ass certificates. Also, what is a legitimate certificate? Does it need the seal of Colorado on it? Recorded recollection, a past recollection recorded when it appears that the witness once had knowledge concerning the matter. And A, can identify the memorandum or record. B, adequately recalls the making of it at or near the time of the event, either as recorded by the witness or by another. And C, can testify to its accuracy. The memorandum or record may be read into evidence, but may not itself be received unless offered by an adverse party. A recorded recollection. They can recall the making of it or near the time of the event. 
They can testify to its accuracy. The memorandum of record must be read into evidence, but may not itself be received unless offered by an adverse party. All right. So there you go. If you have a recorded recollection of somebody saying this is what happened, it can be read into evidence, but it may not itself be received unless offered by an adver- read into evidence. So, well, your honor, I saw a video and it said this, 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 that, 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 and this. Unless offered by an adverse party. So, unless offered by the prosecution or defense, I don't. <sighs> Fucking hearsay. Excited utterance. Existing mental, emotional, physical condition. And then all these things where you could attack the person. You could attack their 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 boundaries and general history. Now they're saying boundaries... Like sex crimes, are they saying like property? It says customs affecting lands in the community and reputation as to events of general history. Reputation in a community arising before the controversy as to boundaries. Reputation as to character. So those are not hearsay. So you could say, you can hear, if you heard somebody else say some shit, you're testifying to some other people's words, but they're talking to... They're talking about a person's character. They're talking about general history and boundaries. And they're talking about personal and family history. Statements in ancient documents. Statements in documents affecting interest in property. A statement in a document that was prepared before January 1st, 1998. And whose authenticity is established. That's an ancient document, your honor. No, that is clearly King John the 15th. Learn treatises to the extent called to the attention of an expert witness upon cross-examination or relied upon by him in direct examination. Statements contained in published treatises, periodicals, or pamphlets on the subject of history, medicine, or other science or art established as a reliable authority by the testimony or, or admission of the witness or by other expert testimony or by judicial notice if admitted. The statements may be read into evidence and may be received as exhibits as the court permits. Judgment of previous conviction. Let's see. Records of vital statistics. Your Honor, this is just a record of vital statistics. Do you have your birth certificate, Obama? Yes, I do. Hearsay. That's hearsay, Your Honor. I don't know who wrote that birth certificate, but uh, that person definitely isn't in the courtroom today. Records or data compilations in any form of births, fetal deaths, deaths or marriages that the report thereof was made to a public office. Pursuant to requirements of law. That's a good birth certificate. And uh, no further explanation is required. He's right. By God. CRE 803. He's right. That's what it says. 803. Obama offered his birth certificate. We should have believed him. We should have just believed him. That's if we if we believe in Colorado. The laws of evidence. If we believe in the Colorado rules of evidence. If we believe... Records of religious organizations, records of documents affecting interest in property, statements in documents affecting an interest in property, statements in ancient documents, market reports, market quotations, tabulations, list. Your Honor, the NASDAQ took a dip. The NASDAQ took a dip in the markets. You don't understand mutual funds, stocks, and bonds. You don't get it, Jack. No, Jack, you don't get it. Jump and Jack Flash. Jump, that's a spicy meatball. No, that's a spicy meatball. Learned treatises. Learned treatises? To the extent called to the the attention of an expert witness upon cross-examination or relied upon by him in direct examination statements contained in published treatises, periodicals, or pamphlets on the subject of history, medicine, or other science or art established as a reliable authority by the testimony or admission of the witness or by other expert testimony or by judicial notice, if admitted, these statements may be read into evidence and may be received as exhibits as the court permits. 
Records of documents affecting an interest in property. Statements and documents affecting an interest in property. Family records. Uh, statements of fact concerning personal family history contained in family Bibles, genealogies, charts, engravings on rings, inscriptions on family portraits, engravings on urns, crypts or tombstones, or the like. Or the like. Or such as like U.S. Americans, then existing mental, emotional, or physical condition, a statement of the declarants, then existing existing state of mind, emotion, sensation, or physical condition, such as intent, plan, motive, design, mental feeling, pain, and bodily health, but not including a statement of memory or belief to prove the fact remembered or believed unless it relates to the execution revocation identification or terms of declarance will statements for purposes of medical diagnosis or treatment statements made for purposes of medical diagnosis or treatment and describing medical history or past or present symptoms pain or sensations or the inception or general character of the cause or external source thereof insofar as reasonably pertinent to diagnosis or treatment wait a second so you're allowed to talk about the diagnosis and the treatment the diagnosis and the treatment. So the doctor said this was the diagnosis and then the way that they treated me was this, this, and this. You don't need the doctor here. I just told you the damn thing. Shit. So that federal fucking case, I had got raped in a Louisville jail and then I pushed it for trial. I pushed it in a federal court and it put, took like four years to finally get the damn trial finally here. And then once we got the court there, then they all, they fucked me up. They kept whittling me down to nothing. Okay, you're not allowed to say that, but you can say that, but you can't say that, but you're not allowed to say that. You really, you can't defend yourself. You're an American citizen. Yep, and we raped, the, Jack Conway was the attorney general. He ran for the Democratic ticket to become governor. And then I requested it as part of the discovery process in the court system. And he had wrote that he wasn't going to show the videotape of the rape, me getting raped in the Louisville fucking jail. How many people come out of Louisville? You know, Muhammad Ali and me, we get fucked when we live in Louisville. Motherfucking that one that one actress, she lives in Louisville. She ever have any of these kind of fucking pains? Oh, they say it's a manly city. Oh, super fucking manly. Super manly, except for when it comes to standing up against other men and their goddamn crimes. I tried to go to the courthouse and turn a complaint in. They didn't give a shit the intake officer or whatever, and then I went to the special fucking claims people, some, you know, uh, whatever the special teams in Louisville, and then another motherfucking guy was like, he acted like he wanted to fucking rape me. And he couldn't wait for me to get inside, and then he started yelling at me and badgering me and berating me, and he was like, you know, fuck that guy. I was running for lieutenant governor at the time, so I would think that had I gone missing, somebody would have noticed something. Right? Wait a second, wasn't there somebody... We only had two candidates. What, what happened to the other one? So it goes to a federal trial. I'm standing up against rape. Who's against prison rape? Anybody? Anybody? I'm pressing, you know, I'm pressing charges against fucking prison rape. Basically did it. By myself all the way through, my fucking lawyer fucked it up. Anyways, the federal, they had said something about, I wasn't allowed to talk about the bills. I wasn't allowed to talk about my medical bills. And the reason why I was talking about my medical bills was, that's the reason why I'm suing these assholes. It cost me a lot of fucking money. They raped me, they, the, the, the officers punched me in the, in, the, in the face, and so I had to get reconstructive surgery. It was a fucking violation. You can't assault people. You can't go around attacking people. And goddamn, if America's economy is based upon how good our banking institutions are, how our banking institutions and how well our institutions are doing, our institutions are, are crap. The only thing that you could say, the only thing that saves you from the bureaucracy is its inefficiency. That's not good about the system. That means the system doesn't fucking work. The, only, the, the system might arrest the person, but then eventually, I ah, just get on out of here. What? That person committed a real fucking crime. I know. And then a cop will just go out and just start badgering any person and just berate them until they say, hey, you stop it. Well, they got mad. That's not a crime. Motherfuckers berate me to try to trick me into getting mad so he could arrest me for some bullshit. 
That's the disorderly conduct for what? Getting mad? You're being a fucking punk ass bitch because you want to put your fucking hands up. Why wouldn't I get mad about something like that? Why would I? I'm supposed to be happy. Oh, here comes Mr. Berate and here comes Mr. fucking douchebag McGee going to berate us until, oh, see, I made you mad. There's that one guy that was sitting there just annoying, annoying his roommate all morning. He was just, you know, he put up a video and was just kind of making noises and shit. Bunk bed, he was on the top bunk, and then eventually the guy on the bottom bunk got all pissed off, and then he kind of yanked the the whole thing down the, the mattress and whatnot, cause, but that's what uh, it seems like cops are. Just a motherfucking piece of shit just keeps poking and poking and poking, and then, you know, well, I might have poked a bear, but the bear didn't have to maul me. You didn't have to poke the bear. You didn't have to poke the bear. Why were you poking a bear? And did you physically poke him? That was an assault. You started it, motherfucker. Who starts it fucking matters so fucking much. You just assume everybody's a bunch of fucking assholes. Some people are peacefully reading a book over there by a tree. Not bothering a goddamn person at all. He's over there reading by a tree? He, he don't like us or what? We should go arrest him. We should attack him or something. Provoke him into... You know what I mean... And then, how could the middle class, it's like the middle class don't realize this shit happens? I guess they could afford a fucking lawyer. Yeah, they could afford fucking lawyers. And so when bullshit on the margins uh, happen in the backwaters and on the margins, no. No. And then, the, uh, how can you not fucking believe it? You Fucking motherfuckers. <laughs> Learn treatises. To the extent called to the attention of an expert witness, statements contained in published treatises, periodicals, pamphlets on the subject of history, medicine, and other science or art established as a reliable authority by the testimony or admonition of witness or other. So the medical journals that doctors read and scientists, you can only have expert witnesses on so many things. I guess you could have expert witness on anything. Your honor, he's an expert in tables, wood, wood tables. He's an expert in pledge. He knows how to polish a wood table. Reputation of a person's character among his associates or in the community. Your Honor, no, we're allowed to say what he burnt down that damn house because that's where the damn that's where Zanis had lived, and that's what was the. Nick number two had said that about Zen and um, that's just, you know, talk in the neighborhood, but that's, uh, that's kind of the only evidence. Who burnt down that house? I don't know. But uh, Zen was mentioned by somebody in the neighborhood who talked to Zen and saw the damn crime. That's as far as I got. Hmm. Somebody stole a fucking car too. Grand theft, fucking arsons. God damn. All the crimes that were happening over there. Oh, it's just a bunch of child molested fucking Nazis. Nothing to see over there. Nothing to see over there. Just a bunch of goddamn serial killing piles of shit. Oh, another fucking arson. That's just another arson. Oh, what an RV flipped over like somebody took some heavy machine. That John Krim paid for all of his fucking permits. And then everybody around him, none of them paid for their permits. Fucking planning and zoning is ruining it for not just the people that don't pay for planning and zoning, they ruin it for the people that do. And do they know the evidence, the rules of evidence? Well, Your Honor, according to the rules of evidence, um, attacking and supporting credibility of declarant, uh, 